Hello everyone, welcome to today's Tech Tuesday. Um, our hot end part for the 3D printer finally came in, so I'm gonna show it, we're gonna unbox it and take a look at it, and I will show you what happened to the old one in a little bit more detail. Okay, so here we have the old hot end. As you can see, it's pretty beat up looking. The nozzle is all encrusted. The main part was this, these uh, little sensors in here, these holes were burned out. There's no way of replacing new sensors in there when that happens. So you just have to replace the whole unit. And that's what we did. Ordered it up from hotends.com. Here's the box it came in. Like a jewelry box almost. Hello! Brand new hot end. It actually looks a lot more high tech than the one we replaced it with. Um, this heat sink piece is um, made of metal as opposed to ceramic. Um, we have this thermal tape all intact now, and the sensors are in on either side, you can see. And look at this nozzle. Way higher quality nozzle than the one I was using before. Um, and it looks like you can replace that itself just by unscrewing the tip, which is another bonus. So we're going to go ahead and hook it up and test it out. Got the 3D printer here, laptop on standby. Okay, so basically I'm going to take the hot end and stick it in to the motor, hopper motor. Slides into this hole here. You can kind of see it sliding in. That's where the filament will drop down and melt down through here and extrude out here. Um, <clears throat> just have to tighten some nuts and hook up these two sensor wires. Then we'll be ready to test it out. Okay, I've got the hot head tightened and in position, and I got the wires hooked up. Now I'm gonna put in some filament, just like we did with the old one, and then we're gonna test print. So hopefully, as you'll be able to see here when this fires up, um, the first time I printed, um, it errored out. The Z probe had an error. So I recalibrated the Z-probe, I zeroed it out to the bed level, but um, it's still looking like it's a little too high, so I'll have to um, adjust it one more time and bring the nozzle tip down just a little bit, like a millimeter, and then I think we'll be on our way to printing. But I'll let you see what it's doing right now. It's actually trying to print, but... Uh, it's just printing a little bit too high still, so we're gonna have to <coughs> troubleshoot it some more. But, in all the research that I've been doing, it's better to have it be too high than too low because it will actually dive into your print bed and, um, and break everything. So it's, it's not quite getting enough stick, it just, it's like floating there. So we'll bring it down just a little bit. All right lost track of how many times we've tried this now. Each time I'm a little bit hopeful that this would be the last. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, it's sticking. We got it. Just to the right level. All right, we're printing. Calibration cube, here we come.
Okay, so we're done. It took about 20 minutes to print this calibration cube. Um, not as bad as I thought it would be. I was expecting a, something to look that looked pretty awful. <laughs> Tell you the truth. But, um, yeah, inspecting the calibration cube will give us a good idea if everything is uh, aligned properly. Breaking off the, uh, the build platform. You do have an X, Y, you got the uh, X, Y, and Z. Those are very clear. So the X, Y, and Z axis are actually pretty close. Um, there's something supposed to be cut out in here that I'll have to chip away at. But um, yeah, it looks like we're done with the install of the hothead. Maybe just a few uh, software calibrations at this point to uh, refine it a little more and tweak it. But uh Looking pretty good. Um, I say we're back in action. Happy Tech Tuesday, everyone. Hi, Art Friends. Today we're going to make slime. You need a whole bottle of glue. Two more ingredients. And then a teaspoon of, half a teaspoon of baking soda. Too much, a little less. Yeah. much? Yeah. And half a, and half, and half a tablespoon spoon of sailing solution. Yeah. And now we're I'm just gonna put glitter in. We usually put the glitter in before the sailing solution. But Daddy, please, please help me. My dad's helping me. Now we need a mixing spoon. Mix it, mix it. Let's put a little more glitter in. Shake, 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 shake. Do you think that'll be enough? You can't see the glitter right now, but I think you will in this line. It's just glue. I'm just gonna add that much sparkles. More. Keep on mixing. Just mix and mix and mix. I mean, I put a little more saline solution. Just a squirt, squirt, ah! Squirt what does more. the saline solution do? It makes it into slime. Makes it harden? It makes it m more like slime. It makes it harden. Coloring, but our family lost our bottle of food coloring, so we don't we don't we don't know where it is. So 
we're just using glue. Hi guys, I forgot one part. You have to store it in an airlock container. Because slime can dry out. Bye bye, until next time art friends. See you next time.